awesome place. You know, growing up, the bus used to drop us off and we do hundreds of laps. We used to jump, we used to ski, there's a couple of trails. Um, and that's that's why I'm here now, is because I, le I learned how to ski here. I love the place and I just want to pass that on to all the other kids here in town. You know, it's really becomes the heart uh, of the community uh, in the winter time. I mean, we live in a great town. It's an awesome place, but uh, you know, there's limits to what you can do in the winter. So this really gives an outlet. I mean, like I mentioned, the middle school kids, you know, they're here at Abenaki versus uh, you know hanging out playing Xbox in their living room or you know, you know, spraying graffiti on a, you know the town boat docks or something. Um, so yeah, you know, and we this is a positive place for them to come. The great thing about Abenaki is it's open at night. So I get to ski after school every day. And I have training on Mondays. And then Waterville is on Saturday and Sunday. But I feel like I learn just as much at Abenaki because it's so small and I get to do so many laps that it, yeah, it makes it really easy to lock in your tricks. You can get about 30 runs in an hour if mm -hmm. I just stay skiing. Right. So I can get a lot, yeah. Well, it's always been here since 1936. So everybody who lives here and has grown up here, it's always been here for them. And I think it's one of those things that we we've kind of taken for granted. And uh, and and I think the town in recent years has really realized how valuable it is because we did have a um, a time when the you know the funding for it was was kind of in question and whether the town was going to continue to support it. The town was going to um, not fund. Uh, the insurance, liability insurance for the area because it had been open so sporadically mm -hmm. uh, in the previous couple of years. Right. So basically some of us um, got together real quick and decided that we either step up to the plate and come up with some snowmaking somehow mm -hmm. or it looks like this place is going to be closed forever and you know we all grew up, half of us grew up there and everybody right. in town did and to have it go under uh, for that reason was going to be something we didn't want to see happen. So we got the groomer the first year, a used bombardier groomer that was originally used at Mount Cranmore in North Conway. But we knew we needed snowmaking, obviously. Mm -hmm. So the next year, we put a portable snow, some snowmakers that we got from HKD out of Massachusetts for the winter of 2006, 2007. Um, and those worked great, but they took a lot of labor. Uh -huh. So we knew that wasn't going to be a long-term um, plan. So we went about fundraising privately uh, to put in... Um, permanent snow guns and now we have 13 tower guns going up the side of the rope toe yes. so it's really been successful we just make mountains of snow we got more right. snow than we know what to do with <laughs> but yeah that wouldn't have been possible if it was just the town running the ski area i mean it's one thing to keep the ski area open and operate it and you know that expense but to do these big picture big ticket items right. you really need that friends group I, sometimes i can't believe how supportive the community is of right what we do here for recreation. A lot of people in town uh, say, you know, when they were growing up, their parents dropped them off at Abenaki when they were nine years old and picked them up when they were 15. <laughs> My favorite part about having the little mountain in our town is that you can just hang out with your friends there without <laughs> being around other people and you can ski a lot. Thank <laughs> you.